New Copan e-swab plastic applicator material and new braking technique. At Copan, we are proud of our ongoing commitment to quality and product improvement. The purpose of this announcement is to inform you that we are transitioning to a new type of plastic used for the e-swab applicators to a material that is more rubber-like. Please note that the new version of e-swab that uses the new plastic material can be easily identified by a yellow band near the peel section at the top of each individual pouch package. The previous e-swab pouch does not include a yellow colored band. This video is designed to highlight the differences between the e-swab made with the new plastic and to demonstrate the different braking technique. Each e-swab collection kit consists of a sterile peel pouch package that contains a nylon flocked swab with a pre-molded brake point and one screw cap tube filled with one milliliter of modified liquid amies. If the e-swab pouch does not have a yellow band at the top, please follow these instructions. Perform hand hygiene. Put on gloves. Open the peel pouch. Remove the swab. Collect the patient's sample using the swab. Remove the screw cap from the tube and insert the swab all the way to the bottom of the tube. Holding the swab shaft close to the rim of the tube, break the applicator shaft at the colored breakpoint indication line. Hold the tube opening away from your face. Screw the cap on tightly to prevent leakage. Write the patient's information on the tube or apply a label. Please note that the new version of eSwab will be indicated by a yellow band located at the top of the pouch. If eSwab has a yellow band at the top of the pouch, follow these instructions. Perform hand hygiene. Put on gloves. Open the peel pouch. Remove the swab. Collect the patient's sample using the swab. Remove the screw cap from the tube and insert the swab all the way to the bottom of the tube. Hold the tube away from your face. Holding the swab shaft at the end, bend it at a 180 degree angle to break it off at the marked break point. If needed, Gently twist the shaft to completely remove the top half of shaft. Discard the top half of the swab shaft and tighten the cap. Screw the cap on tightly to prevent leakage. Write the patient's information on the tube or apply a label. Please note that the e-swab fluid is needed to keep bacteria alive. Do not send a dry e-swab, as this will lead to unsatisfactory results. If the tube spills its contents prior to inserting the swab, the liquid is completely non-toxic. Simply wipe up the spill, discard the spilled tube, and use the tube from another swab kit. Note that because the bacteria are released into the liquid, if the liquid spills after you have put the swab in it, you must obtain a new swab.